Hello, my name is Mark Gorilla, and I would like to tell you about how LEGO Serious Play can help you in some of your challenges. I would like you to grab a set of LEGO bricks and start fiddling with them. It would be great if you would be sitting somewhere with a group of people, but if you're alone, then that's all right as well. Um, and my task to you is the following. I would like you to start building a personal or a professional challenge that you're currently faced with. And at the end of the presentation, I kindly ask you to take a photo and send it to me. Use Twitter hashtag Lego Serious Play and send it to the user at Serious Play Pro, please. Why did I ask you to do this? Because usually at these types of presentations, people are asked to sit quietly and listen attentively. The reason is in so-called hands-mind connection. Please look at this slide. You can see two small people over there and their hands are huge. The body parts are proportionate to its respective cortex areas in the brain. So essentially we can use a metaphor and say that our hands serve as search engine in our minds. And fiddling with different kinds of objects gets also your thoughts flowing. So this is the reason why I would like you to play with something while you listen and while you think alone. The next time you are meeting somebody who is frantically clicking the pen, then don't think that this person has problem with obsessive compulsive disorder. Maybe this is also part of the thought process. But over to LEGO Serious Play. Well, I already spoke about LEGO bricks, so obviously this is understandable. But what is Serious Play? When the friends of my little daughter come around, they see those LEGO boxes, then they are really surprised and, and they say that how is it possible that somebody asks the other adults to play with the LEGO bricks and some of these people can also get a diploma for that. Wow, can I get one, is the natural reaction. Why is it so that when we think about playing, then this seems to be disconnected from doing serious work? In fact, it doesn't have to be. Um, when we think of work, something which comes to our mind usually is a sweatshop, century, two centuries ago, where efficiency was the main guiding light. But contemporary workplaces are rarely like this. Most of the workplaces actually require you to be creative and resourceful, and play helps. Stuart Brown from National Institute for Play has even said that opposite of play is not work, it is depression. Because those people who are not able to play at their work, they are more likely to be stressed out. Playfulness leads to better solutions. And so we come to LEGO. Two decades ago, Kjellker Christensen, who was the CEO at that time, asked two professors, Johan Roos and Bart Victor, to come around and help LEGO rethink their strategy sessions. Because they thought that how they were thinking about company future was not playful and fun enough. So they started using LEGO bricks in understanding where the company might be growing. And by now we can see that there are hundreds of corporations all around the world who are using this on all continents, in different sectors. But why they are doing this? To explain the reasons, I would like you to check into your LEGO Series Play exercise. So how are you doing there? Have you managed to build already something? If yes, then great, just keep on going. But if not, then it's now utmost time to start. And if you're in a group, then it's even better. You can observe what has started happening around you. In business context, we're frequently in a situation where people are not engaged. So at meetings, people are not part of discussion, but they are daydreaming, their thoughts are elsewhere. But when I ask participants in a different meeting to use Lego bricks and start building how their company is going to look like five years from now, they will not be excused 
were watching around and seeing that, well, what the others are saying, they have to start engaging from the minute one. They have to start engaging right away. And also those people who are slightly more shy, introverted, get the chance to participate and tell their story, tell their understanding of how the organization is going to look like. So that's the first reason. Lego Superior's play engages people and it makes the discussion much more democratic. The second reason is that we understand each other better. Those two pictures are from one organization where I helped people understand uh, their future. It was an energy firm. Most people were building very complex uh, depictions of the organization. Different power lines, different power plants, clients in different countries, but there was one group which primarily focused on building a resource mine where 90% of the resources were mined in order to generate electricity. And interestingly enough, it created a very interesting and heated discussion about how people see what is important in this company. If you would have used simply whiteboard and some words, then probably we'd, we would have come up with innovative, customer-focused, future-oriented company which has its main values, blah, 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 and so on and so forth. While this kind of actual playing brought out the ideas that were somewhere hidden that nobody even mentioned before when we were discussing the organizational strategy in a more generic manner. So that's the second part. Play is honest and it opens up some things that we even didn't know we knew before. There is the third reason. When we are playing, then we are using metaphors. We start using those different bricks by giving them meaning. So for example, when you are a five-year-old and you take this kind of whiteboard marker, then it can be anything you tell it will be. It can be a magic wand to change certain things. Well, when we are using bricks, and this is one of the Dupla cows. This can be used in a business setting for a metaphoric reason. We have all heard of Boston Consulting Group's cash cows. So this may be a cash cow. Or alternatively, cow can be also somebody who is peaceful, steady, reliable. Maybe we can use metaphors in order to demonstrate something completely different with this cow. Or now something more abstract. What is this? No idea. But if we take, for example, this small man here and say that, well, he is a customer and the customer is faced with something like that, we can immediately understand that we are talking about some sort of barriers. All right. But what if we put this gentleman on top of it? Then this is going to be a metaphor of achievement or award or something else. So all these kind of small depictions can have a meaning that we apply to them. All right. So three main reasons for using LEGO Serious Play. So how can I start with LEGO Serious Play sessions? What do you need? Well, obviously you need a group of people. And it would be good if you would be led by a trained facilitator who knows the method and who can set the time, who can set the challenge, and who can guide you through the process when you're doing it the first time. Then the second thing, obviously, you need a set of Lego bricks, and finally you need a challenge and enough time for work. So, let's take these things one by one. So, there are dedicated Lego series play sets, but in essence, any material bricks will do, which help you to demonstrate and discuss and construct something that is important for your organization. The second thing, what kind of challenges you can handle with LEGO Serious Play? The list is long. There is a global community of LEGO Serious Play facilitators who has developed the method over the last decade. So there are short challenges for team building, problem solving, even for job interviews. And they are, there are even very complex challenges where you involve a group of people for strategy creation in a very large organization in order to cut through the complexities of customer profiling, through stakeholder mapping, anything else that comes to your mind. And how do you start? 
so when you are about to kick off your discussions. So the first thing is something that you're already doing. You are already performing the exercise of fiddling with bricks. This is part of skills building task. Alternatively, I would have asked you, well, here's three minutes and let's say who is able to build the tallest tower within those three minutes to make you really feel part of the competitive pressure and put you in the state of flow and fun and excitement about this very playing exercise. And once we are through this first barrier and we are able to start building, then we start moving through a series of consecutive iterations of LEGO Serious Play tasks, which are usually around four main steps. These four steps form the core process of LEGO Serious Play. First of all, somebody needs to pose a question. So the question might be, for example, where do you see your company in five years from now? The question might be, how do you understand your identity? What is uh, your identity at the moment? The question might be, well, tell me what is the most important priority in your hand at the moment? Or alternatively, what's the largest problem that your team is currently involved with? So after you have received the question, the second phase of the core process is construction. You start building. You start responding to the question. Once you have built something, then the next stage is sharing. You tell to the other group members what you have built. And in frequent occasions, what you have built doesn't need to be perfect. Well, if you're given only five minutes to build the complexity of your current job, then it's certainly not enough. So you can, you can usually use very well different words to add to what you were saying. The fourth part of the assignment is reflection. Once everybody has said how did they understand the particular question in hand, the group has the chance to reflect. So what do we generalize? What do we synthesize out of this, this conversation? What do we understand? What do all the buildings represent? Okay. Let's move ahead. So these four stages, these four steps are a core process of LEGO Serious Play. I'm also going to disclose a little bit about different application techniques. So there are different ways of going through LEGO Serious Play. One of the possibility is that challenge, model and meaning generation is only individual work. So this is in those occasions where you are dealing with your individual issues. But in some other cases, you are going to do the individual model first, but after your individual model, you are engaging your group to start building a group landscape. So what you can see on these pictures is that a group is engaged in telling a story of the other group members to understand what they were saying. And the other group members then can correct and say that, well, as a matter of fact, there was a slightly different facet to what I was trying to convey. And hence, the team builds much deeper understanding to what the other one was saying. And the other picture, what you can see here is that the team members have started creating the landscape. Lego Serious Play brick sets come with different roads, connectors, tubes that you can use in order to connect different LEGO Serious Play construction elements into a holistic landscape. So for example, you can show that, well, here's our company and there are connecting tubes which connect us to our main customers. There are other connecting tubes which connect us to our main suppliers. And hey, by the way, there is this huge crocodile of a competitor here by the side who is attacking our landscape. So. In essence, this landscape is a holistic business model of how your organization is operating at this very moment. So you can see visually and in three-dimensional field everything that you're dealing with. So why do you do that? So you create connections, you build the system to understand the relationships between 
different parts in your system. So for example, if there is a very strong supplier who can dictate everything that you're doing, then obviously this is something that can break your system. And by looking at your buildings, you can understand how you would need to think slightly differently about this particular um, supplier. Then, once the system is in place, you can take your time and think, test and play various scenarios. So, you can think that, well, if, okay, we'll put the new competitor on the place and we would start thinking that, okay, if the competitor is there, where would our customers go? Would they start leaving us or would they still stick with us? So, we can start playing these different scenarios between ourselves. And then, over the time, once we have played the different scenarios from A to Z, then we can start generating some guiding principles. Simple principles which are helping us in the future to be smarter in our daily activities and in our strategic activities. We are better able to manage the future. So this is how we build all those landscapes. I would like to show you how one of these buildings can look like. So this is an individual build of my team. So I can see that there is a team of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people who are all somehow engaged in discussions. So somebody is presenting, the others are listening. But somehow I feel that one person of our team is slightly more distant. And when you can look from a closer point, then you can see that the person is not very happy about the situation. There is a sad face. But look, there is one empty chair here, and there is something here. And in my understanding, the something shows that, as a matter of fact, we have a big problem that is lurking behind, behind our back. And there is an empty seat here, which in my view shows that we don't have a good enough leader for our team to take it forward. Somebody else might build something completely different. And it's up to our discussion to make sure that how do we consider our team's current situation. Remember that there are certain rules that you have to take into consideration while you're engaged in LEGO Serious Play session. First of all, there is the issue of timing. Somebody has to make sure that you fit in time very well. Partially it's to do with flow, because when somebody is too bored, when somebody is overexcited because the time is too short, then usually a facilitator needs to be flexible and needs to adjust to the current situation. The second thing is that there are concrete steps. We already spoke about the four steps. Question, building, sharing, reflecting. And when you do this building in a group, then it's a good idea always to build, share um, individually first and then uh, build and share in the group second. The third rule is that always the answer is in the system. So never start discussing a particular person. Never start attacking a particular problem, something that, that somebody has just said. Always focus on what the person has built. This will make sure that the discussion is going to be more objective and more to the point rather than about past problems that these people have had between themselves. There is no right or wrong, but there are different perspectives. Remember the story about blind men touching an elephant. They all have their different perspectives of how elephant looks like or what elephant is. The fifth rule. In LEGO Serious Play session, there should not be bystanders or freeloaders. Everybody in the session has the chance to explain and participate. If somebody simply sits there and says that I don't want to build, then better the person leave, because otherwise this is going to also destroy the momentum of the group. And finally, it's very important for somebody, for a facilitator, for a group, to maintain the state of flow. We have to make sure that playing and building is really fun and we try to keep this fun during the time where we are engaged in this exercise. Alright, and finally over to you. So I kindly ask you to take a photo of your buildings and share it with 
LEGO Serious Play hashtag to Serious Play Pro Community. And add a short explanation on what did you build, what did you learn, or what questions came up. And our global community of LEGO Serious Play practitioners would be delighted to help you and engage you in further discussions on how LEGO Serious Play might be useful for you. So you can engage in these discussions um, via this website, seriousplaypro.com slash forum, where we are holding these discussions, or you can look at any of the social media sites on this very slide. I would like to thank you for your attention and for your interest towards LEGO Serious Play and see what's coming up. Thank you.